Uh, let's get our first guest out, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. He is, I think, one of the funniest comedians, well, in the country right now. It is Mr. Jimmy Carr. <laughs> <laughs> no one will notice. Um, how are you, Jimmy? You looking very well? I'm, I'm very well indeed, yeah. I'm going to settle down on this. and That's it. If I lean forward, it, the pressure holds it in place. Jimmy, uh, I don't know how many people have you seen uh, Jimmy live. I saw him live a short while ago. First time I saw you live was, um, it was a Peter Cook benefit, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a benefit for Peter Cook, although he'd been dead two years, the chances of bringing him back were slim. No, well, <laughs> it wasn't for that reason, was it? It was, it was to help, I don't know, some sort of trust. I think it was involved. for uh, special needs kids. OK, and yeah. uh, we were there. It was a lovely thing to do. No one had heard of you, I don't think, that evening particularly. I think you were probably the least well-known person on the bill. And you, wow, I think you were the hit of the night. Yeah, I think it went well. Yeah, it was all right. It was great. And I thought, here's a man who's going to go far, because the kind of humour he does is, is well, it's not old-fashioned as such, but it's, it's kind of immediate. People know where you're coming from. There's a lot of jokes. OK. Because... Uh, <laughs> well, and that's what we want from comedians, and so rarely get these days. Now... Are you actually going to stay on that? I don't know. <laughs> but it, it is, it, I'll be honest with you, it is helping me, but I feel at a disadvantage. <laughs> I feel like I've come to see you about a loan. <laughs> I tell you, that is one hell of a hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I look like Buster Gonads back here, don't I? Um, I might switch back. Do you think it would be wise if I went back to the other chair? I'd say go with it. Yeah, if you, you have so. a bad back. It's helping. It is helping a bit. Go with it. All right. Um, most comedians, you get them on, they wouldn't want to do material as such. I get the feeling that you don't mind doing jokes. Would I be I've right? got no problem with doing Could jokes. Could you do some jokes for us? Could I have some actual kind of like encapsulated An humorous actual moments? joke. Yeah. We don't get, you don't get actual jokes on TV much anymore, do you? You get, you know, people... Well, if you shut up for a minute, you will. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I have a sore back and a bruised ego. <laughs> eh? oh, where's the bouncy thing for that? Do you want a few one-liners? I would love a few one-liners. All right. My girlfriend said she wanted me to tease her. I said, all right, fatty. <laughs> I was doing a show the other day, I got talking to a girl in the front row, I asked her her name. She said, it's Pataka. I said, that's an unusual name, you don't hear that every day. To which she replied, actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you see, actual jokes. Give us one more, you got one more? Oh, there's, lo there's loads. Well, good. I was talking to my nan about Ant and Deck. Yeah. She said she didn't know which one Ant was. I said, do you know which one Deck is? She said, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, force yourselves. <laughs> I split up with a girl once because she lied about her weight. Uh -huh. I say that, she died in a bungee jumping accident. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think that's a joke, but it may be a very sad chapter from your past. <laughs> I, I'm sure. It works, so who cares? You see, don't, don't, but don't you love a joke? It's great. You, do, now, how many can you remember? How many of those do you have? Because most people, when they have stand-up material, I think they have it... It's almost like anecdotal, isn't it? It's like a structured story they're telling on stage. But when you're doing, like, one-liners or two-liners, I don't know what they're yeah, like. Yeah, in that. a show, there's about maybe 140, 150 jokes in a row. Yeah, it's not, not easy to remember, but then it's my job. <laughs> <laughs> um, OK, now... You've only been... How long have you been on the circuit for? It's actually... I mean, it's, it's quite a while, but not that long in... in About comedy five jobs. years. Um, you know, a five-year overnight success. It's been a, but it's been a big, you know, <laughs> quite a fast... Uh, yeah, wise. no, that's, that's fairly meteoric, you know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's fast. Because I've seen you doing various shows, mainly on Channel 4 now, I notice. I know you've done a lot of those kind of 100 greatest moments and that kind of stuff. I do a bit of that, yeah. They're not? fun. They're OK. The show I like to see you on, though, is the one where I think one can see Jimmy's talent best displayed is distraction. Now, how would you explain distraction to people who haven't seen it? Right, it, it's sort of, sort of like a game show. It was for Channel 4, it was a, the replacement to Sex in the City. Right. Uh, which, <laughs> it was, it filled that time. Yeah. So I think it, it, yeah, it's sort of like Sex in the City, if you imagine the city is Dundee and the sex is anal. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what was the actual premise behind it? Because it's quite a weird, I mean, it's quite a new, very, very much of the moment idea, isn't it? Well, the original, uh, the original idea was to make people do two things at the same time. So make them do something while they're answering questions. And then we figured out that that was kind of all right as a premise, but it'd be much more fun if we just tortured people. So, so we electrocuted them and we beat them up with wrestlers and we, you know, made them eat lamb's testicles raw and, yeah. You know, but, but, you know, I think, because you have a kind of a... It's not, it's not a cold manner, but you have quite a formal manner on stage and when you're performing. And in a way, I think... Yes, I do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I think doing that show, it's kind of made you seem even more uh, of an antisocial 
strange, cold individual. <laughs> and I say Thanks that in the much. nicest way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is, you do seem quite... It does play to, I would have thought, your worst attributes or, or the perception of you, the worst perception oh, of you. Or the best attributes, depending. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. It's a funny show. I think we wanted to make a game show that would be more fun to watch yeah. than it would be to take part in. Which is so <laughs> Have you done it or you went out to America to do a series of that, didn't you? Yeah, I did a series in America. They flew me out to America to torture Americans. Which is obviously every boy's dream. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, actually, even before we started the dream with that, people were loving that. Now, we have uh, a toy that's out. I don't know how many people have seen this. Uh, it's called Shocking Roulette. I've got one at home. My little boy loves playing it. I don't know why I hate playing it, because I always lose at it. Have you seen this? I haven't I've seen it. I've got it over here. <laughs> I'm fine. I, um... Jonathan, I meant to do that. You I meant to. Made. I meant to do that. <laughs> Jonathan, you've just made two hundred pounds TV bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? My back's feeling considerably better now. I think I might. Oh, I'll switch back to get like that. <laughs> Here we go. Now look, this is it. You seen this cool. before? I've seen it, but I haven't had right, a go. Okay. What is it? Um, it's called uh, Shocking Roulette. You turn right. it on. Now, you can have it a power shocking on... Shocking Roulette? You can so have it on higher. more shocking than Russian Roulette, presumably. Right. <laughs> I think this is for two players there. Number of victims, two. Okay? Now, Number what you do victims? is... Okay. I'm not happy about that. Yeah. It's a horrible game, and I'm hoping I will win, so you will have a taste of your medicine. All right? You put your finger in there, and you touch the thing, and when you press start, it flips between the two, and when there's a noise, then you can pull your finger out, I believe. When there's a noise, you can pull your finger out. Yeah. <laughs> You've played this in a different oh, form before, yeah. haven't you? Well, I'm put, no stranger your, this. put your finger in number two. It's the sort of. <laughs> it's a look. There, number one and two. Okay. I... So you're in number one. I'm in number two. Yes. Right. Yes, James. I don't. It's even so now. I don't want to. As do soon this, as it it's... makes a noise. Why are you taking your hand away from Because for? I'm scared of electric shocks. <laughs> well, come on. Well, why? Right. All right. Ah, uh, you know, I don't know if I can actually do this. Come I've on. Done... Oh, thank you. <laughs> come on, Jonathan, be a man. Come I on. can't be a man. Come on, don't you start button, yeah? Put your finger in. Put your finger in. Did you get the shot then? Yeah. Yeah, well, you lost. <laughs> That's how you play the game. How do you like it? How do you like the distraction? How do you like me now? <laughs> it's just the way we roll. Peace out. Um, <laughs> Jimmy has got a DVD of his live performance out. It just came out. Oh, yeah, no, day. I remember about that, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, oh, yeah. no, I do have it here. I'm showing this because I'm surprised at the amount of makeup you're wearing there. I'll be honest with you. I know you're a strange looking fella. I don't think that's doing you any favours. <laughs> Those highlights are looking lovely on you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a lot of makeup there. What are you talking about? That's a lot of makeup. You've got man. a lot of makeup on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it was your makeup people that did it. Yeah. And they said to me afterwards, we might have to send out for more. Look how much we have to. <laughs> Look at the size of his cheeks. We're running out of concealer. <laughs> big baby face, they said. Big, big baby face. <laughs> big cheeks. Big baby cheeks. They're Native <laughs> Americans, your makeup ladies, yeah? <laughs> big baby face, baby cheeks. <laughs> Let's have a look at you on stage, Jimmy. This is Jimmy live on stage. And you, are you doing a tour again this year? I'm doing a different tour now. This was kind of last year's tour, and then I'm doing a new one now. So all new material? All new material, yeah, because I always used to get annoyed when, you know, you'd buy a DVD of someone live, and then you'd go and see them, and it'd be the same show. Yeah. So this is different to the one that I'm touring now. So how long is this, the show live on the DVD, and how long is your, your it's show? It's about now? 75 minutes, and the live version of the new show is about 90 minutes. OK, let's have a look. This is Jimmy Carr live. The DVD is out now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Jimmy, live the DVD is out now. It's possibly the ideal Christmas gift. Oh, it might be the ideal Christmas gift. I'll tell you what, it's easy to wrap. Yeah, well, you know what I liked about seeing the live show was um, it's not just stand-up, is it? It's, you've added a little something extra. Well, it's that thing where there's, it's not just me standing there and a light and a mic and the whole thing. There's a few other sort of bits. So I wrote lots of letters to people that were just nonsense and, and offensive, but, you know, funny. And I did those small ads, I did a whole kind of section so of those. So you actually, though, that's genuine, you took adverts out in papers? Yeah, I took adverts out in the papers, saying... Well, you when know. you phone up and you say, I want, like the one you just said there, do they not question why you're putting that in? No, the best one, I, I called up Loot magazine yeah. uh, with the ad, Hitachi washing machine for sale, DX250, kill, 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 kill them all. <laughs> 250 pounds or nearest offer. <laughs> and and all, the, all the woman said is that four kills. <laughs> So you can put more or less anything you want. You can put anything in at all. For sale, bonsai tree, large. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be £15 pounds for two weeks, lovely. Yeah. 
So the idea was to do kind of not, not just stand up, but to do stuff at the desk. And I do some sort of t shirts that I've made and kind of weird merchandise. And yeah, it's just lots of different things. So when you're watching at home, I often think with live DVDs, it's like you're watching other people have fun. Yeah. And this feels more like a show, more like a kind of, you know, well, that was the idea anyway. Uh, Jimmy's doing a bit of acting now as well. Now, you, do you, presumably, you. I'm you not really acting. I'm in a film, but. Well, then what are you doing in the film? The reason I did it was it was an English comedy called Confetti, and there's loads of good people in it, and it's a you know, good director, and it looks, looks like it's going to be really funny. It's entirely improvised. Wow. So they phoned up. They said, do you want to come for an audition? I said, brilliant. They said, it's improvised. No lines to learn. Easy. Are you playing yourself in the film? <coughs> yeah, pretty much, if well, you like. Well, is it, is I it look a lot like my character, I'll okay. tell you that. <laughs> Jimmy, lovely having you here on the show. It's been a pleasure. Good luck with the tour. God bless you. Mr. Jimmy Carr, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think we might have to have a hand. Jimmy Carr.